back with another one. Um, not a really long one, but one I felt was quite dual really in, in doing and part of a wider set of videos I'm going to to look to do um, around our children and gambling um, as you can see I'm at the seaside today um, I'm at Mablethorpe in Lincolnshire and for me as I was wandering around it got me thinking that this is where I used to to do my gambling really in the early stages um, certainly having a relative live here at that time was quite good <laughs> in a gambling sense for me because it would mean that we would go to the arcades every day really um, when I came to stay and looking back it was not a great idea but it was what it was and but what it got me thinking really is um, when we look at gambling and we look at gambling addiction we automatically well I think most people assume or picture adults with addiction you know maybe maybe there's a stereotype of 30 40 something and years of gambling has took its toll but for me we need to also focus on the next generation of problem gamblers and this is something that I really do feel strongly about preventing the next generation of problem gamblers reaching the levels if they're already addicted to what we got to and so coming here today it got it, it definitely got my my mind thinking of the things that I used to do um, in the arcades and in the the bingo and things and it really I just I just want to share an opinion that well not an opinion thoughts on it really um, I think as parents we've got a responsibility to us children to do the best we can to prevent any harm of gambling just in the same way that we wouldn't go and encourage them to take drugs or to get drunk every every day I think whilst we're on holiday especially you know it's a fun time and don't get me wrong I'm not studious at saying suddenly stop checking your till taking your children to the arcade that's not what I'm trying to say whatsoever I think what I am trying to say is maybe this signs maybe this signs already there that your child may may have start to take a liking to gambling a little bit more than what would be considered normal um, and I don't mean to say that the signs are that they are constantly stood on the fruit machine and things I think little signs can start to develop and and I think with that it's um, maybe they're playing uh, a particular fruit machine that they've took a lightning to a little bit more frequent on the times that you do go in that arcade maybe there's one machine that they single out that they're always asking you for money for um, maybe it's a selection of fruit machines that they're always asking money for um, but they're okay when they're not at that machine if you if you know what I mean that they're, they're at, you know they they're happy to go on the beach but in them small instances where you are in the arcade maybe they're playing that one machine or maybe that they are playing a selection of you know fruit machines where they've had a little win on them and I think for us to sit here and say well we don't know if they've had a win on them we don't know what they're winning what they're doing they're just having fun is a little bit for a strong word ignorant towards the dangers I think what we need to do as parents is keep a little bit more of a watch on our children's behaviors in and around arcades in and around um, places where 
gambling is 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 prevalent really. Um, and I think certainly when you come to the seaside, um, or especially if you live at the seaside, where there's those access for for children to go in an arcade, where there's fruit machines, where there's bingo, where there's gambling. Um, I think we just need to be a little bit more alert to the behaviours of our children. And for me, that could be, like I said, just watching what they're doing in terms of are they playing fruit machines a little bit more than they are on the car racing games? Are they, um, when they're asking for money, are they asking because they've lost the money on the fruit machines or have they spent it on the, I don't know, the, the car games or um, whatever? just anything other than fruit machines I think we need to realise as to if they come in and asking for money quite often why they're asking for money quite often um, analyse them, watch them and I don't mean that in a stalking sort of way you know, children need to be children and have fun, we all know that but I think just when you start to see maybe an inkling of that behaviour towards gambling change for the worse I think that's when we need to get on top of it a little bit more and a little bit, a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a hawk eye on it a little bit, and and maybe that's when you you maybe have a chat about if they are feeling that they're, you know, not addicted, but whether they feel their gambling is okay in terms of are they feeling the need to go on the fruit machines? Are they feeling the need to gamble above? Um, doing other things in an arcade such as like I said playing on the car racing games or or wanting to go to the beach or they wanting to go to the arcades to gamble more and asking them and, and engaging with this uh, with with our children and and also highlighting the dangers of gambling and I think if we do that and we're all a little bit more responsible to our children and I'm not saying anyone's a bad parent or anything like that, not the case. I just think when I was young, and I can only speak from experience, when I was gambling in the arcade on fruit machines, pulling a chair up, that's another one, pulling a chair up because I wasn't tall enough to reach the slot to put the money in. When I was pulling a chair up to stand on it to reach the slot to put the money in to play it, um, when I was playing bingo, lighting up three cards instead of one. Um, little signs. When when we're in that situation and it becomes uh, an every every time we're going on holiday type of thing or whenever we go to the seaside for the day type of thing, the gambling is very much prevalent for us children. I think then we need to um, seriously consider what we do next basically and whether that's stopping it altogether some parents may take that action if they feel the child's got a gambling issue starting or whether that's just limiting what they do in terms of how long they can go on the machine for how much they can spend if they spend two pounds that's it whatever the figure you come up with or whether that's just educating them on the arms of gambling or what it can do but also allowing them to do it and keeping that orc eye on them when they are doing it. And it sounds extreme, but as I said, when, when you are pulling chairs up, when you are um, spending a lot of time gambling instead of going to the beach or, or wanting to do that, I think that's when uh, it, it's definitely a, a sort of a worrying time. And I think that's when we need to be more responsible and really not allow gambling and particularly at the seaside not allow it to become the normal thing normalised that yes this is gambling time gambling's absolutely fine go and gamble what you want I think it's about breaking the the sort of normality of it gambling is a serious addiction it can kill people it has killed people even myself it nearly took my life and I just think we knew for, our, for the sake of our children and the next generation of problem gamblers we just need to be a little bit more switched on but yeah I'll leave it there folks um, it has been a little bit of a ramble but 
I hope that this has been beneficial. Um, if you can leave a like, if you can leave a comment and let me know what you think and, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, more videos like this and as I say I'm going to do a wider series of videos on, on children and the dangers of gambling. But I'll, I'll leave it there folks and I'll catch you on the next one. And it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Mabel Thorpe. Cheers folks.